Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dead Not Signal Lost, a traditional roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. It's out now on Steam, and it looks quite unique for anything in the traditional roguelike field. I know it's a new entry in the Dead Not series. So let's pop on in and see what the game is all about here. Quick start. Accessing the Benefactor Data Network. Searching Missing Personnel Database. Too many results. Select a Suit Filter. So is this maybe like a like a class kind of a thing? We have we've got difficulty up here, maybe? Challenge rating. A capable suit that's easy to master. Gotcha. One of the most challenging suits in the game. I, I like how there are no there's no one skull difficulty. Let's just go ahead and grab this one here. Uh combat focus. Amount of knowledge gained from exploration is reduced. Better at combat. I mean Sure, I'll add filter. Applying filter security. Ah, so that's like picking almost like a class. And now, downloading personnel records. Solid all-around set of attributes suitable in any role. Uh, wanted theft, MIA, taken by mysterious entity, and vanished, believed dead. Next report. Okay, so we're like, we could pick a different character. Gotcha. Physically fit and faster than most candidates. Predict higher and then usual levels of survivability. I mean, that sounds good. Wanted for insubordination, occupation, demolitions, taken by mysterious entity, and vanished, believe dead. Sure, let's just go for that one. I mean, if the other one's all around, sounds good, but just athletic, and we're going for like a kill build because of our class, sounds good. So what do we got here? Yeah, one of the most unique things about the game seemed to be sort of the presentation of it. I think that my guess is that we're going to be like trying to guide somebody out of like i don't know of capture or a dangerous situation from this terminal is my guess console operating system initialization suit connection negotiation designation cook suit con configuration security endurance moderate puppet compatibility 93.5 innate trust high life sign monitoring active okay Synchronization complete. Hollow projection system. Okay. Navigation module. Preparing the star map for new jump coordinates. What on earth are you talking about? Deep space. Click on a location below to initiate a scan. Seed ship scout. Sabotage. This ship has information related to dead knot activity. Destroy it to reduce the chance of benefactors spawning into the next mission. Hive entities. Security hostility. Relatively fast and potentially threatening. Benefactors are not aware of you. They will not appear in this mission. So it, the reward for doing this mission is that. So what happens if I... Can I scout this one as well? Black market codes. If you complete this mission, you can purchase upgrades and gear directly from the blueprint screen. I mean, this one seems... legit. This location has no special features. I mean, I'll just do this one, I guess. Boosts KN received from discoveries. Okay. Establishing sympathetic neural link. Cooperative mode engaged. I see the words, yeah, definitely seeing the words puppets. Uh, cooperative mode. I, I think that we're going to be like taking them over. Oh my word. And it's back. <laughs> Launching the dead knot pod. And analyzing breach candidates. Candidate unsuitable. What? I have no, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on and I kind of enjoy that. 
Candidate found high integrity, medium high power. Breach in progress. Helpful messages will appear here. Left click them for more information or right click them to dismiss. Right. The dead knot can step up W, down S, left, right, A, B. Skip a turn with space. Gotcha. So we also have our couple abilities here. So this is our, we've got our map. Is there any way I can move around the camera? I'm assuming no. Oh, we can also move with arrows. Okay. Boost the protection of the equipped armor shard for a short duration. You must have an armor shard equipped. I'm assuming I do. Standard rifle and a standard knife. Gotcha. E, single shot primary, one attack per turn. Pretty good accuracy, 50 damage, so quite a bit of accuracy. Simple last resort melee weapon. If you're not puppeted and the knife has not been used on the current turn, the dead knot will use it to retaliate. All right. E and Q to use your equipment. Swap loadouts with X. Activate upgrades with 1 through 0. Use the mouse or press R to select your target. Okay. So this is this is my my character, my puppet character here. Dread. Alpha Dread. Got a door to interact with. Open a door by moving into it or pressing F in melee range. So it took multiple turns to get that one open. Discovered engine one. Transponder. Certainly there's going to be no hostiles. Found a corpse. Until there was only one true valuable... What the hell? Another door. I heard some kind of a... Some kind of a noise. Structural integrity is damaged. Is that of the of the ship? Okay, it's getting a little bit dark right here. When targeted by an enemy, automatically fire off a round. Pistol must not have been used in the previous turn. Oh, that's... I think that's my heartbeat going. Why is it so long? Corridors can keep you safe from watcher attacks. When arriving on a ship, you'll start near an airlock. Find your objective, activate it, and then quickly move to marked a marked airlock before the evac timer runs out. Your ship may have multiple levels. Use elevators to move between docks and cross contrast to settlements. Combat not only damages rooms, it can destroy the ship altogether. You'll need to watch the structural integrity of your ship because if it's destroyed, the game is lost. As rooms get destroyed, clouds of smoke may appear, which can reduce your visual range. To avoid reducing uh, structural integrity, you can increase your accuracy to minimize stray shots or engage in melee combat or use weapons and upgrades to minimize hull damage. Holy crap. So we are actually having to worry about breaking down our ship on missed shots. Okay, we got a dead end. I am, I am like... The tension is absolutely building on something jumping at me. Dread is now at beta here. And the heartbeat's pumping a bit faster. I would imagine that means we're maybe moving towards danger. Bum bum. Bum bum. Okay, I hear uh, there's a blink. Is that a good blink or a bad blink? Is that... I do want to fight something, I can't deny. Discovered the bridge. Found corpse, discovered bridge. There's something here. The mission objective is close by, interacting with it by bumping into it or pressing F. This will trigger the evac deadline, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. Downloading the black market codes. You must evacuate before the countdown reaches zero. Activate the mission map to find the nearest evac point. An alarm will sound as the deadline gets close. Clicking this button will mute the alarm. So it appears as though we're supposed to be popping down here. 
Oh god, we have to get get back to the beginning, but I'm guessing that the alarm is going to potentially, you know, alert things that we don't want alerted. I see a second blink. Is that a second evac point or an alarm will sound as the deadline gets close. Clicking this will mute the alarm. Why would we not want to mute the alarm? Is cut Oh! Enemy spotted. Hold on. <laughs> uh, maintain visual contact to learn more. They'll attempt to attack you with ranged melee or special attacks. Okay. Boost the protection of the equipped, equipped armor shard. So we don't know anything about it. So you stop moving. Is that Does that mean you're going to go for like a ranged attack? Okay, we've got Worker, Tier 2 Hive. Okay, Engaged, Squinting. They're squinting in the dark, may or may not detect targets beyond its visual range. Moves slower than the dead knot, on average. Ooh. Okay, now I'm flanked. Automatically fire off around. Pistol must not have been used. I don't have a pistol, to be clear. So if I bump into you... I'm, I feel like using that is going to actually cause an issue for us. Okay, we, we were able to just pop you in one. Back up. So it's also a worker. For science. Okay, they... Seems like they may have seen me. Okay, hold on, hold on. We have the gun E. Okay, this is getting to be no joke, though. I'm surely I have limited ammo, right? Oh my god. Pop that guy. Worker. I'm so glad that they die in one hit from the melee. I mean, I'm... I guess I would hope I'm good at combat, being a soldier and all. But still. I'm gonna bump up some audio. Holy. I may regret it, but I bumped the audio a bit. So I'm assuming we need to get back to this signal here. Discover storeroom. Let's check the transponder. Found corpse. Chain guns are getting some mixed reviews from security team. When they're working well, you'll shred anything standing in front of you. If you miss, you'll not only damage the hull, but you have to wait a few seconds for it to recharge again. Not that worried about it. I'm hearing some boom, 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 boom. Dread's not, uh... Not looking that different, but still. I mean, okay, so that's one little, one little mission success. New blueprints, upgrades, and sigils. Dead not secured. Black market codes acquired. Ah, okay. So you get bonus points for uh, for exploration. Interesting. Trust plus one positive. Ah, huh. So... We get penalized for not exploring quite literally. Foundry enabled, gear and upgrade, configure okay, configuration. Manage acquired blueprints. What the hell? Armor enhancement can be modified into all kinds of these different ones. Holy moly. So we have that one already. Security. So this is common. This is something that anybody can have, I guess. Fragments. Double the amount of field targets. Stacks with crowd control. Interesting. What do we have for different, like, weapon perks? Do we, we, do we even have that much money? We have a thousand bucks. We don't really have that much. We can't do too much of anything here. Manage your dead nuts. Investigation. So investigation, we don't get very much because we are combat focused. Gotcha. Look at look at all this. We have ballistic enhancements. All right, fair enough. 
I'm assuming there is nothing I can really get here. 2,000. 2,000 seems to be the absolute cheapest. Oh, we can also buy gear at the market. I think we're probably going to be fine. So we have an armor shard. Absorbs a minor amount of ballistic damage. I'm curious what different like shards might be. Do we have that instead of like a sense one of these sensors or hack tools or something? Maybe. Benefactor presence high. De deployment unavailable. Okay. Ship has information related to dead knot activity. Destroy to reduce the chance of benefactor spawning in the next mission. I mean, hey, let's give it a go. I don't feel like I need to configure loadout here. This is very interesting. <laughs> it's very atmospheric and it's taking its sweet time in some elements, but I think that that can very much help with a game that's kind of traced in some horror elements like this. And I would imagine it picks up that pace. as you do things more. But seeing those skill trees and everything and seeing the the stat the like the stat sheet has me extremely intrigued about how deep things can go here. And I'm sure that we haven't seen the half of it in, as far as like what enemies are, do and everything like that. We're not going to get only enemies that die in one melee hit. Okay. Candidate unsuitable. Can we just, like, not... Is there a chance we could just... Get one that's not suitable at all? Ever? I mean... I'll take it. I don't know if it ever... I don't know if it can ever get a... Different result. Okay. Maybe we'll take our take our time. We'll we'll ex explore a little bit more. We know that we it doesn't look like we can explore the lockers. Just the door. We're not particular. What? Sound like a? Why did it sound like a baby crying? Okay, I feel like there's something on the other side of the door. Discover the armory. That's a good sign. Sounds like it's coming from this direction. New suit upgrade. Disable. Is that something I can just, like, put on now? So we've learned about this. Moves fast, attacks in melee range, can spawn from eggs or in dark corridors. It's just like a standard as hell enemy. So what was the upgrade I just... Was it something I can equip? That. So I think I'm going to need this data link before I can get it. Temporarily disable an... ADAD tower. Jammer lasts for 10 turns. Must have a hack tool equipped on a settlement. And the hacking overlay active. What? The prerequisites are not melt. Me met. <laughs> Melted. <laughs> There's definitely something going rawr, 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 over in that general direction. Like, could even just be like here. Man, when the when the sound stops basically entirely, that's when things get freaky. Discover the barracks. Alright, the heart's beaten. Found corpse. Seems like, yeah, sometimes we just get, like, lore. Uh oh. And sometimes we can get equipment. Yeah, it's close. I do want to take it down, whatever it is. We have the assisted targeting. 
you. My primary, my accuracy is already pretty high, and I don't know what this thing is yet. Okay, it took a bullet and it didn't care. Two bullets for that thing to die, and we don't even... <laughs> that The scanning aspect is really interesting. I bet you there's some characters... Who know much earlier? It's getting loud. Okay. Hold on, let's scan it. A keeper. Squinting, engaged... How do I see the... Oh, shoot. The keeper dies in one. Did, so did we miss that first time? I feel like... I don't think we did. We'll wait. Do I really have no ammo? Accumulate... Boost the accumulation of all knowledge for this mission. Visual range is limited do, due to a low-lit environment. If we're not puppeted, we'll use a secondary weapon to return fire when attacked. Hmm. Suit systems are dedicated to combat and armor. Amount of knowledge gained from exploration is reduced. Natural ballistic damage and ballistic resistance is increased. There's still more of those sounds. Okay. So we made it to the other si side of this door. Hello there. Scanning. <laughs> Scanning. We don't need to scan. Shoot first, scan later. The The risk we run is, is missing. It has a 43% chance to hit when we're in melee range. So, like, when enemies start to get faster, we're going to start to have more problems. And honestly, thank XCOM, we have not uh, missed on a 85 yet. That sound. That was our cooldown coming back. Duration 15, cooldown 22. So ultimately, the best time to use this is when we think that we're going to find something kind of soon. But not, like, immediately. Oh my god. So, like, maybe popping into a corridor like this? Nah. I hear that sound. On the other side of the door, maybe? Corpse had nothing. I'm exploring a hell of a lot more of this. Okay. That was, see, like that. That was, that was ideal. So we have that super accuracy now. We literally can't miss. Unless they have some kind of a dodge ability or something. Oh my. Dead in one. <laughs> yeah, I bet you there's a... I don't know. There's got to be a character or, like, a class that maybe scans perfectly right away. Or, like, scans twice as fast. It's just not our strength. How's this passive going? Seems to be gone. I'm not hearing as many of the laughs. Okay. Not found our mission objective either, but there's all kinds of stuff to scan here. No items, though. Okay, pop that ability. We're up to 4,000 bucks, though. Discover the elevator. Use elevators to travel to an upper or lower deck. Okay, and I guess we're... I guess we're popping down. I suppose so. Uh oh. Higher insulation. So what is up with this? Interesting. So why? <laughs> why is that happening? It's happening as we get further down. But there is a, like, a little scanner ability here. Okay, so we were, like, losing signal for a little bit. I don't know what that would do. 
I'm hearing the sounds. Let's definitely equip some weaponry. Accuracy up. I was assuming around this corner, maybe. Shoot. Okay, so we don't have our accuracy up all the way, but I'm going to accept the 83. 85. Okay, so now it's messing up. Plant the explosive will trigger the evac deadline. I'm going to say absolutely. Let's bomb it. Downloading black market codes. Okay, so we have to get all the way up there. Okay. How much do we want to explore? Do we want to explore the full thing? I mean... It's a tricky balance. Like, things certainly could, uh... Explode in our face, quite literally. Oh boy. Somebody's gonna be in here. Food storage. We know the pathway there. God, we're bad at opening doors. Alright. We're tracked, we're ready. Yeah, I was gonna say... 126% chance. So, there's another one down there. If we, if we really just want to get, like, lots of experience, I suppose we could try and make our way to the further evac point. We have 500 turns to get out. That shouldn't be that hard. Let's, um, open this door just in case. Yeah, there's the airlock out. Somebody over here. Maybe. No? Okay. I got bombed? Um, I'm on fire? I- what? On fire and losing health every turn. Whew. Okay. Try closing a door by moving in melee range and pressing F. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave, actually. Since apparently they can just set me on fire and I can immediately just <laughs> go from 100 health to 23. Apparently. So we got that, the disable, uh, thing there. We got, also got so much money. What the hell was that, though? Yeah. Exploration only was a minus 10 this time instead. Trust went down. Okay, so the better you do on a mission, the more trust they have with you. Understandable, but also, oh my god. Okay, so we should be able to buy something. The question is, what the hell do I want? Boost, vigor, acuity, wits, and grit. Chance of successful injection. Ballistic and melee. Armor. Wait, boost protection from ballistic and melee armor shards for a short duration. I think I have the ballistic one. Hmm. Gonna go for the security tree here, I think, I, I guess, instead. Blast da weapon does extra damage for short duration. That looks like it'll take up a whole new thing. Uh, deal high ballistic damage to a selected target with a rifle. If they are tier 3 or tier 4 enemy, instantly kill. I mean, sounds cool. Seems like I could afford that one. I could afford just extra damage. But that has a... It takes an action. It's a cooldown of 14, duration of 10. Opportunity fire. Pistol attacks at twice its usual rate for a short duration. Um, do I have a... Do I have a pistol? As like... So I can like swap to it. Is that the idea? 
Can my passive go off? If I'm not holding the pistol and I get hit, we'll have to pop in and try and swap our weapons and, and see in action how that looks. Um, but yes, there's something that helps me put out <laughs> to chance to add heat injection in combat. No, I'm kind of looking for like a way to uh, just not be on fire. Just because seeing how brutal that was. Is there like a med kit kind of a thing I can get? Heat, kinetic, cold, poison, EMP. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Injector. Looks like kind of like a passive benefit that we could get to maybe apply a status effect of some sort. So I don't I don't get to see what that thing was. Tosses grenade at a distance and uses a knife at close range, low tier. Well, we saw that guy, but I don't think that was I don't think we got a scan off on the thing that set me on fire. Hmm. Gotcha. So we'll check the upgrades. I think we can go for explosions from the equipped grenade launcher do less damage to our rooms. Attach a time bomb to the target. When the countdown reaches zero, the bomb will explode, injuring enemies in a radius. Does that harm the ship as well? I do like the idea of instantly... Instantly killing a tier 3 or tier 4. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. Well, obviously we'll have to scan... So now we're in a tier 2 zone. Got that last. <laughs> Everything would have been great. She would have loved me if it weren't for the fact that she got set on fire. Uh, recover their speed technology. You'll be able to dodge more effectively in the next mission. Cool. Take me in. Put me in, coach. I do wish that it was almost... I mean, like, if they are going to just do the same full loadup every time, it's like... I don't know. Is it like a full minute to get in and, like, get control? Every time? Probably not. It feels that way, though. The flavor of it is... Very good, though. I can't lie. Because then we go in, we launch the pod, we sink, we do this whole thing, and then we have to try and find the correct one of the three. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? What on earth is happening now? Landing? Okay, thank God. Okay, health goes back up. Okay, so now we're like... Hazardous atmosphere. Settlements have... Hazardous atmosphere. Dead not suit will filter the hazard for a short time, but they will soon start taking damage and other penalties. Was I not getting it here? Oh my. Get in. Causing a reduction to your vigor. I mean... Did that fix it? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I really would love to scan it. Worker. So that's just the standard one, right? So I don't, but I don't have to worry about destroying the ship here. So like things like explosives or, or missing is, is not quite as important here. I almost feel kind of bad about that.
also this room this area is not dimly lit so i think that that means we have like a slightly bigger sight line than before and that sight line might actually just be enough here so that we can see them before they can see us which is really nice found a combat shotgun okay see when I, I saw this loadout and I thought that it was just gonna be like swapping them like that but no okay so this was gr was red you know red when we didn't have the pistol on Standard shotgun. A lot of damage at close range may hit additional nearby targets. I mean, yeah, if we don't have to worry about missing as much. I suppose, why not? Why not a shotgun? It's another worker. Nothing else to scan here. Okay, we had another door before we go back out into the smoke. All right, let's get the assisted targeting. Not because I'm worried about missing and damaging a hull, but because, I don't know, I don't want to miss. Okay, there's got to be somebody else in here. What the hell is that? Scan. Okay, it's just a, it's just another worker. Oops. It wa was just another worker. The equivalent of like a Goomba. That's why they're exploding so easily. Corpse with nothing. Doing well for the... Uh, whoo. Explore, though. I did not mean to move that fast. Um... Slower than the dead knot. Quick melee. Bumping into an enemy triggers the melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying to get some distance since I'm apparently faster than you. Just in case the off chance that we missed quite a bit, you might as well get a little bit safer with it. Why is my heart ba dump ba dump in here? Why am I dumping? All right. Go. I mean, there's nothing I can do, dude. Get in there. Oh, I got shot. No, I shot back. Gotcha. I'm fine. Am I not fine? Why am I taking damage? Let's just close that for a second. Until I make sure that I'm... Yeah, I am good. Holy. Healing is not an easy feat. Am I going to run into somebody in the hallway or the room? I feel like it's more likely in the room. Hmm. I'm just trying to think for the accuracy up. Oh, my word. So, I also saw on that screen with the scanning of enemies, there's, like, some pips underneath it. Probably, like, if you scan them effectively X amount of times, then you maybe can know them by sight. Hazardous atmosphere, really? Really? What? This side of the room, there's some hazardous atmosphere. Is there like a door open all the way to the outside or something? Now it's gone? What on earth? Is it fine here? Yeah, okay. 
So there's apparently some kind of like leak in that room. Huh. I'll take it for now. Corner's a little bit sketchy. Oh boy. We are not good at doors. Power generator two. Heart's beaten. It's not uh, poison or anything though. What are we looking for? We're looking for prototypes. Recover with their speed technology. So we actually do get to know where it is. However, you're, my character gets mad at me if I don't explore, so... It doesn't really matter if I go to do the main objective first. In fact, it's probably bad, because then I go over there, I hit the thing that puts me on a timer. Oh boy. It seems like it actually works better for us to not. There's nobody there, really? I'm actually baffled that there was nobody hiding around that corner there. Okay. Nobody in here? What the hell? The tension is really well built up. <laughs> so it wasn't M for map... What the, what's the map hotkey? Uh, F1? Eh. Okay. So this is where I entered. We've done a lot of exploring already. So, okay, we're going to want to scoot to the nearest thing. We haven't... Uh, I've been spotted by an ADAD tower. Oh, I don't have anything with that yet. I mean, there's nothing I can do this second. I have to just get in here. Right? Is that going to help even? Yes, it does. Okay, so... Interesting. We start to lose powers. It looked like we maybe started to lose a little bit of health as well. Because, I guess because we were just out in the open? So maybe... Oh, God, that's such a tricky balance then. Knowing that my character gets mad if I don't explore. So I need to explore, but I also can't explore. Oh, God. I guess I'll go to the portal tower? If I can. Not much I can do here. Apparently we're fine. Okay, let's let's take a brief detour back in here. Brief detour back in here for a moment. Does this link up with those? It does. I could actually just straight up go well, kind of. I could go all the way up through the hangar to the housing and then make my way over there that way. It's the most minimal outside time that we can get. Oh my. And we didn't... Didn't we already clear with this? So what revealed the map? What... Something... The map was not revealed fully before. Oh my. I, I don't think I've been over here, though, even though it looks like I have on the map. When I was found by the ADAD tower, is that what that was? Somebody around here? Just checking. Might as well check this room. Yeah, discovered. I'll check this room and then I'll move it. I hear banging out there. Gentle, far-off banging. Go, go, go. Go, go. Um. 
Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I should shoot it, but I'm going to shoot it. It shot me right back. Guns on cooldown. Oh, God. I think I die if I run over here, is the thing. But I also... God, it's such a nasty setup. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it to blast you. I don't know how far you off of, are off of uh, dying. Oh my god. I feel like swapping the loadout takes an entire turn, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Glad that was a tier three or four. We needed a rifle for that. So that must have been like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Cloning station. Restore health. Regenerate here one time when you die. Uh, yes, please. Okay, so here is the objective. I'm down for it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So we just need to get back out to... It really keeps pointing me to the portal tower. Yeah, it's because there's a whole nother section of the map. So, like, theoretically, I should probably explore that. But, eh. I think our rifle is going to be better for, like, larger single target scenarios or more, like, pop, pop, pop. I think that the uh, the shotgun... I mean, it's... Wow, what a con controversial thought. I think the shotgun setup is going to be definitely more for, like, if we're being flanked by multiple enemies. But, um... On top of that, it's more because we also... That loadout also comes with the pistol passive. I guess what we could even do... I wonder if uh, we can change our loadout so that... I don't know. Can we can we have the rifle and the pistol? I feel like I guess we would have had to do that before. Doesn't really matter. I think we'll be fine. Uh, I think we head storage down. Maybe take a look at what the portal tower is for kicks and wiggles. Close that. Make sure to not suffocate. You know the drill. 374 turns. I mean, we really can't, like... Go for anything too wild. Let that stop. Oh, my. Can't see squat. Get in. Portals help your dreadnought move instantly to another part. I mean, like, hey, I figured as much on that one. Hmm. I'm just going to do it because I'm curious. I'm curious what it looks like when I do this. Maybe we'll move... Out of the scan zone? Not really. Oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me? What was that about? How do I stop this, though? Like, I get it. 
If you have a hack tool equipped... Higher insulation reduces console damage from EMP. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that, though, is the thing. I think we just need to do the best we can to make it to this exit. All right, we're good. The hell? What? How do I, how do I even stop whatever that is, man? Just get out. Get out. Well, you have 100 health. Is it the health that you end with that you change your uh, your mind about me for, or what? So you have 100 health. Let's go. Expiration still minus 50. There's just so much map. There's so much map. Uh, man. Alas, alas. Uh, this is wild. It's very, very interesting. Like, the amount of depth to this here. It's got, it, it's got such a... I mean, in the, hey, this is traditional roguelikes for you. It's got such a simple... Uh, like axes of interaction that you technically have in combat aren't that high, you know, generally uh, moving around on the grid, bumping into enemies you have some ranged attacks, so like when do you use melee, when do you use range, when do you use uh, long form cooldown, stuff like that that's all pretty standard, like traditional roguelike stuff, but the whole package that it's in and the flavor and the world is wild and the, uh, the statistics depth here is absurd and I can only imagine. Yeah, physical ability, speed, and critical melee attacks. Like, we are... Our high vigor let us outrun enemies. So, like, higher uh, visual range, dodge, stealth, accuracy, like, all that stuff. Having a, a high acuity character instead, or cooldown, intrusion range, investigation, stealth, unlock speed. Like, all these things, they really would change the, the play style, for sure. Not to mention the different types of perks you can get. Like the fact that there seems to be quite a bit. And this is the security tree. There are other trees that you can go down. Uh, I don't have an injector. Temporarily disable the ADAD tower. Jammer lasts for 10 turns. Now, I like I understand more what this means. The thing is, I don't know that I'd have a hack tool. But... Purchase unavailable. Lo locate black market. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, either way, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Dreadnought Single Law. Single. <laughs> Sorry, that's the dating spinoff. Uh, Deadnought Signal Lost. It is out now on Steam if you want to pick it up for yourself. Uh, let me take a game there. How much, how much does it cost? It is 18 bucks, but it is 15% off. But it seems quite, like meaty so far from what I can tell. 100% uh, positive reviews at the time of this uh, this recording here and uh, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's, it's got like, you really have to be uh, somebody who is okay with the pacing of this, which I, I personally am. Like, I'm fine with it. Uh, you know, people who need to go now, 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 now are probably going to be a little bit more bothered. It's a little bit on the slower side there, but it really does lend itself very well to the theme of the game, the atmosphere, and this kind of, like, weird, mysterious world. And there's something about just the uh, the actual interface of you controlling, a, like, you syncing up to control another character and you watching on that monitor. It feels way more appropriate for the traditional roguelike uh, genre, for whatever reason. It feels... There's something about the connection between that and the way that traditional roguelikes control in general that feels like a really good match uh, and just leaning into the impending doom sort of feeling uh, having you care a whole lot also I feel like this it just goes really really hand in hand uh, the genres that are at play here and it's done with a lot of a lot of skill uh, and I'm very curious to see you know what all the different kind of classes play like on top of the fact you have a bunch of different randomized characters with different unique perks and feats and things like that within them it just seems very neat if you're uh, looking for a good new traditional roguelike this seems like a, a good new traditional roguelike uh, a genre that has un uh, just an unfortunately small amount of new entries in it uh, over the past few years but Check it out. Link in the top description. My name is Retromation. I cover roguelikes and roguelites every single day. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.